this one is a hard math question let's take a look at this question there are four identical pens and seven identical books right if you went on an autopilot and tried to solve this question we're likely to get an answer which is incorrect this word identical is very crucial in solving this question right in how many ways can a person select at least one object from this set so we have a set comprising 11 objects right four pens they are identical and seven books these are identical right now for a moment let's just look at what if they had not been identical right we'll have pens which are like p1 p2 p3 p4 right leave the books we'll come to the pens and understand it if they have not been identical right one could be a red color pen blue green black some four different color pens let's say if I select a pen out of this, how many ways can I select it? I can select it in 4C. If they had been distinct, then the number of ways of selecting one pen is 4 choose 1, which is equal to 4. Because a pen selected could have been either black or red or green or blue. right? It could have been any one of these four. I could have selected it in four ways. Now, the same thing, if these pens are identical, then the number of ways of selecting one pen, right? Pick four pens which are identical. Select a pen and see. Will you be able to make a distinction between which one you selected? You could have selected one this time. Put it back and select it the next time. You will not know whether you selected the same one or a different one because these pens are identical. If they are identical, the number of ways of selecting one pen out of four pens is actually equal to one way. It is not four ways. Here I can clearly say, hey, I have a blue pen, I have a green pen, I have a red pen, I have a black pen or whatever it is. Here all four are blue. All four are, let's say, Reynolds pen. All four look alike. There is no distinction to differentiate between them. Then it will all look, appear the same. It's not just for one pen. If I'm selecting two pens, if they're distinct, right, I will say the answer is 4C2. Black and red, black and green, black and yellow or whatever it is. Right? Those are ways I can do it. Here, the number of ways of selecting two pens Yes, you do not know which two you selected. You selected these two, you selected these two, you selected these two. They're all going to appear the same. So number of ways of selecting two pens out of four identical pens will also be only one way. So in this case, we'll say, hey, I have a 4C one way of selecting one pen, 4C two for two pens, 4C three for three pens, 4C four for four pens, 4C zero for no pens at all, which is when the pens are distinct. When they are identical pens, the number of ways of selecting zero pens is equal to one way. Number of ways of selecting one pen is one way. Number of ways of selecting two pens is one way. Three pens is one way. And four pens is equal to one way. So if I leave you with four pens and tell you, hey, you can select anything from zero to all of the pens that's available. How many total possibilities do you have if these pens are identical pens? Then you'll have a total of one, which is selecting none, one, which is selecting one, one, which is selecting two pens, one, which is selecting three pens, and one, which is selecting four pens. So you'll have a total of five ways of selecting anything from zero to all of those four pens if the, all four pens are identical pens. Extending the same logic for books. I have seven books with me. So anything from zero to seven books, if I'm allowed to select, I'll have a total of eight ways. How many ways can I select six identical books out of seven identical books in only one way? Because with six I selected, I have left no clue of differentiating. This time it could have been the first six in the row. Next time it could have been leaving the third one, the remaining six, and it will all appear the same because they are identical books. So when they are identical objects, this 4C1, 4C2, that does not hold good. 7C1, 7C2 does not hold good. You will have a total of eight ways, including not selecting even a single book. Five ways, not selecting even a single pen. So now what do we have? We have to select one pen and one book or we'll have to select one object. We'll have to select one object. So essentially, I need not select a pen at all. I could select one book. I need not select a pen at all. I can select all four out of the seven books. So I have multiple possibilities. So when it comes to pens, I can select zero or one or two or three or four. There are five possibilities available to me. So when it comes to books, I'll have similarly anything from zero, not one, zero to seven books I can select. So I'll have eight ways of doing this. So I'll write some of the possibilities just to give us an idea. The first one I'm refer referring, referring to is the pen, zero pens and zero books, zero pen and one book, zero pen and two books, so on and so forth, zero pen and seven books. So one, two, three, 
you know that we are having a count of eight. I can have one pen and zero books, one pen and one book, one pen and seven. Similarly, I can go all the way up to four pens and zero books, four pens and one book, all the way up to four pens and seven books. So, eight in a row, five such rows, zero, one, two, three, four, right? Five rows. So, we have a total of 40 possibilities of selecting not even a single pen and a single book, all the way up to selecting all four pens and all seven books. So, this is the total number of outcomes. If you select anything from none to all of the objects available, when the objects are in two sets and both each of the sets contain objects which are all identical. Now, what is not permitted? You need to select at least one object, which means selecting zero pens and zero books is not permitted. So, we have a total of five ways of selecting anything from zero to four pens. 8 ways of selecting anything from 0 to 7 books. That's a total of 40 ways. What is not allowed, not allowed is basically selecting 0 pens and 0 books because we need to select at least one object. How many such possibilities exist? Only in one case do we select 0 pens and 0 books. So, subtract that. So, we'll have 39 ways of selecting at least one object from 4 identical books, 4 identical pens and 7 identical books. Right. The answer is choice E. I'm going to leave you with a bonus question. Here's a bonus question. I've just removed that adjective. There are four pens and seven books. In how many ways can a person select at least one object from the set? I've not changed these five answer options because one of these five answer options will hold good for even that. Right? Essentially solve this question and send us your answers to the comment section of this video. Best wishes.